In this problem, we'll use a decision tree to help a college decide whether to change its recruitment process. A college enrolls two types of students. Some pay full tuition and some pay half tuition. At present, they spend a million dollars a year and they recruit 200 students, three quarters of whom are half pay and 25% full pay. What they'd like to do is shift this. A consultant proposes that they could use GIS to target zip codes with more full pay students. She says there's a 75% chance of success. The class will be smaller, but it will have more full pay students in it. But there's a downside. They could also end up recruiting a smaller class of only 170 with only 30% full pay. What we'd like to do is figure out which one they should try. So the first step is what's the decision? And the decision here is to use a new system or stick with the old. What are the contingencies? Either it improves the recruitment or it makes it worse. And how's the sequence going to proceed? First, we do a choice, and then come contingencies. First, we draw a choice node with two options, a new system or stick with the status quo. And then we add a chance node coming off the new system branch, because the new system could either work or not work. So these are the choices. And then we wonder, what are the outcomes of these choices? And there's three possibilities. One is better, one is worse, and one is the status quo. We typically write these down by having the payoff as one column, and then we note what the probabilities are, and then for each we calculate an expected value of that branch. Now we want to know what's the expected value at this node. What is the expected monetary value at the choice node? It's going to be the sum of the expected monetary values of its branches. The formula looks like this. The probability of good results times the payoff of good results, plus the probability of bad results times the payoff of bad results. Now the comparison will be between that number and the status quo. So we move back to the left and make the comparison between the two branches coming off of the choice node. These are the two numbers we'll compare. And here's the formula. If the new system expected value is bigger than the status quo value, then the choice will be use the new system. Otherwise, the choice will be stick with the status quo.